Yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Kill So Frosty. Flat was the movie. Flat was the movie. Two on the way. God City, God City TV, Gangs of the City, God City Web Series, God City Podcast, God City Everything, man. Back with some more entertainment news for y'all, man. This time we flying to LA, Los Angeles, California, where things is basically like the purge out there already. But anyway, um, Justin Bieber had a party for a Super Bowl out there, and basically TMZ's reporting that when Kodak Black got into a situation out there, about four people got shot. Now I want to bring this up. You see, drill music is all usually the blame, but Kodak doesn't do drill music and Justin Bieber def- definitely doesn't do drill music. So we have to be realistic. We've been using the drill music lately as a scapegoat. But the thing is, you see, this is the problem. When we use a scapegoat, we're, 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 we're basically ignoring the real issues here. And what the real issues is, all, in our black community, we have a lot of things that we have to work on. It's not just about drill music. It's just us, our reaction, the way we act, the way we were brought up, the, the, the way we're meant to think. If we get into a situation, we got to really be honest. Right now, I'm going to show you a little clip of the video, but not the full thing. Um, the full link vid- the full link is going to be in the description box because you know how things be um, acting up. YouTube be acting up. And you could damn near see the fight and then the shots there. So I'm not going to post it up here. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I left a little clip of you right here. This is where you see Kodak Black. He's out there with his friends, basically, you know, doing what they do, taking pictures and everything. But as the video goes on, this is where everything starts to develop. And you see the shots go off and whatever, whatever. You don't really see the shooter, but you, you do hear the shots. So we got, we got to talk about this, y'all. So I want, to, I want y'all to see this, and then we're going to really talk about this. This time, we're really going to talk about everything for real. Lately, um, therapy has been like a good, uh, thing that's it's like damn near a new trend in the black community. But guess what? I think a lot of us need it. It's not just about women that's healing from broken relationships. I think all of us need it because we are also trying to heal as 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 broken people, broken men, broken young boys. We had parents that that raised us wrong. We got to put the blame on everything. It's so easy to say, oh, the younger generation, the younger generation. But where did they learn this from? They did not just get up and say, yo, I'm going to shoot somebody if I have a problem with him. We also like this. This is the way we were all raised. We were raised wrong. And plus, you, they always say economics. You know what I'm saying if you grow up poor, usually if you don't know better, you, you're not going to do better. So you grew up in a poor community. Most of the times it's a violent community. Everything is violent. The families are broken. Moms is, moms is crazy. Dad is crazy. Dad might be locked up. Uncle's in jail. Whatever the situation is. And, and we're always prone to violence. This is like a, a tradition for us. It's been a tradition for a minute. So the reason why I keep saying we can't just blame drill music because it's like we're kind of like isolating and segregating the young boys and we still expect them to, to win. We, they're looking at us like, yo, what are y'all talking about? Y'all keep telling us about this, but what about that what about this i had to i had a conversation with the young boys and they didn't tell me that you get what i'm coming from we know social media plays a major effect on everything that's going on but we have to be honest you know what i'm saying our community is is all messed up bro it's all of us we got all got to take the blame it's like i keep telling y'all we all have to take the blame we cannot sit here and try to be judgmental when we already the same way now i'm going to show y'all this we got stop the violence advocates like hassan campbell that may preach about, oh, these kids is this and that and the third. But if you're really going to be honest, bro, you hear him on, 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 on Clubhouse. He's over here telling Trife Gangster, if you pull up, I'm going to put holes in you. Now, check this out. You mean to tell me you think the kids don't watch the Son Campbell show? Yes, they do. And also, you think the kids are now on, on, on Clubhouse? Yes, they are. You get where I'm coming from? So now when they're hearing the person that's telling them to stop the violence and talking about, I'm going to put holes in you, it's not going to make sense. We got my son, even when he was doing the little um, stop the violence going into the stores, the, one of the girls got an attitude with him and he's like yo yo i'm like that yo i'm like that you see this is a mixed message because what y'all fail to realize it's like everybody's worried about not looking like a punk first you have to start thinking about you don't care if you look like a punk you got to be a man about yours you it's not about yo if i'm looking like a punk so i gotta shoot him or i gotta get on the internet and make all these rants by the way i don't want to begin into no, no no shout shouting matches and back and forth with none of these guys either so don't even do it i won't respond to y'all but anyway like I said, it's like me. I used to be like maybe the same way, but I realized if I'm going to be talking about stop the violence, I can't get on the internet and be talking about I'm ready to shoot somebody if they get me mad or if they don't like what I'm doing. It's not going to make sense. You get where I'm coming from? I know the kids are watching me and I know the young dudes are definitely watching me and I'm not going to give them that. I give them another thing to look at. I give them positive positivity to look at. I, I, do, I do stuff like... I, I, I may bring him to, to a video shoot and put him in the video shoot if they ain't got nothing going on. I, I don't preach negati- negativity at all. So if I'm, if I'm doing the stop the violence thing, I try to stay away from anything that will be misconstrued as, oh, look at me, I'm a gangster. I used to do this back in the days because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And like I said before, prior to this, a lot of the stop the violence advocates are even at war with each other, which makes no sense. Because even um, Tribe Gangster, he does, he does the stop the violence thing. 
But he's on the internet talking about where you at. I'm pulling up on you. I'm going to beat you up. And you know me and my God. It doesn't work, guys. Y'all got to learn and let that go. Y'all egos is bigger than y'all than your movement. Because if y'all really was worried about the, the kids or whatever y'all trying to preach, then the last thing y'all would do is get on the internet and start talking all this wild stuff just because you don't want to feel like a punk. Forget feeling like a punk. Just be a man about yours. A man doesn't want to have to kill anybody. Matter of fact, a man would just ignore all that. This, you see how I just said, yo, if they even send me a response, I'm ignoring them. I, I don't got time for y'all. I'm not going to get into this with y'all, especially what I'm doing right now. This is the last thing I want to do is get on the internet and rant and be going crazy about, yo, I could do this. This is what I've been done. So it doesn't make sense, y'all. You get where I'm coming from? One thing we need to do is, like I said, in the black community, therapy has to be done, you know what I'm saying? And then we also have to tack tackle the poverty, you know what I'm saying? We got to be real. A lot of these kids that's out there, or probably come, they had no moms, they had no dad, moms probably on crack, moms probably did. And sometimes these kids actually have good parents. But you know what it be? The culture of violence. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Your boy, at K-A-Y-O-S-O-F-O-S-T-Y. We going to talk about this, man. Just make sure you leave a comment and let me know how you feel. Gang.